Hey, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. Today, I want to talk to you about how someone in my condition, being a hypoglycemic, unaware diabetic, realizes that he needs help. Well, one of the first things we have to say is uh, unaware hypoglycemic. I don't know, doesn't really seem to do justice. Because, well, anyway, with myself, I can tell that if I feel low, like, you know, the average, oh my God, that I am in severe trouble. That I'm probably going to pass out very shortly. And... Thank God I haven't done it in a while, but it's not a good thing to do. First of all, hypoglycemic unaware. A lot of people say to me, well, why didn't you just tell us you were low? Because the name of the ailment is hypoglycemic unaware. Duh. But... You know, diabetics can fight you on the topic. If you say, oh, are you low? No, 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 I'm fine. Who's guilty of that? You want to ensure that the person you're trying to help is going to do it. So things like, hey, you know what? I'm kind of hungry. Let's go have a snack or something. Or, I'm thirsty. Here, do you want some apple juice? Little things like that can go a lot further. Now, I've talked on this channel before. Sorry, I always seem to itch, right? About people who are accusatory towards diabetics. And I don't think they really mean to, but a lot of times they are. Try to think of different ways of approaching the issue. Softer tones. Don't be so accusatory. People need to know that they're safe. And being accusatory isn't really helping a lot. Got it? So, how do we tell when we're low? Well, a lot of times, a glucometer reading will tell us whether we're low or high. Something simple. Now, with me being a type 1 diabetic, I do my test up to four times a day. So, if I see I'm low, I will start treatment right away. And, you know, maybe eating or grabbing a Coke or anything with sugar. At this point, when I'm feeling low, I will take the action I need. And that means to find the quickest sugar available. Now, because I'm hypoglycemic, I don't hear the heartbeat. I don't start to sweat. I don't think I really feel dizzy. Now, I had a boss years ago who said she could always tell me when I'm going low because I start to slur a bit. Now, not like you're drunk. If you see a diabetic who's acting drunk, treat them first. They're not, at that point, I think we all become diabetic, or sorry, hypoglycemic unaware. Because we don't know what's going on. Now, I really I get in trouble when my extremities 
start to seize and twitch and do all sorts of things. I need sugar pretty quick. And if I start doing that, and if I have lost control of my bowels, well then, you know what? That's a 911 call. If I go unconscious, that's a 911 call. You don't want to be second guessing. If it's, if, they, if they're acting different and they do a blood sugar and it ends up to be the other end or their normal blood sugar, well, that's fine. But, sorry, I'm just fixing the curtains here. Don't just assume that they're trying to pull one off of you. I've had people, just one sec here. I've had people say to me, oh, well, you just want another coffee break. Oh, yeah, I really like doing that. One of the worst things about being a diabetic that's in a severe low blood sugar is that after it, we have a migraine headache. And oh, they can be so vicious. But I can tell you there, the last time, or not the last time, I'll tell you a story about when I was low blood sugar. And I was having a wild dream that I was working a bar. I'd never worked. Well, I have worked one bar. But people were just walking in on the street, but we were in a plane, so I don't know. Anyway, I fell to the floor. I slipped. Well, I don't really fall. I don't call it falling. I slipped out of bed onto the floor. Huh. And then I kind of came up or more awake. And the next thing I knew, I knew I was low. I, I started moaning and, and eventually it clicks in my brain. I have, I, I call it the fall and then I can't get up button. You press the gray area. And it sets off a call. I've talked about this before. Now, that point I had woke up, I was sweaty. Excuse me, they came in, they hooked up an IV. My blood sugar was up, or my blood sugar started to raise up. But I went to the hospital anyway. And luckily I have a friend who will come pick me up at most times at the hospital if I have trouble and bring me back home. But that time they sent me home by ambulance. It's easier, it's, you know. They brought me back, they put me back to bed. And I was fine until the same time the next night. But I kind of slipped out of bed. I woke up and I just had the fire department here. They fed me, put me back to bed <laughs> and that was all fine. But you don't want to be doing, that's a stress on your body. And Type 1 diabetics can get into what we call the roller, or the roller. What are they called? Roller coaster, yeah. Dude, let's try it again. And, you know, you're going high, and then you'll come down low, and then you'll go high again. So the best thing is, 
to try to stay away from being high blood sugar. Low blood sugar. Again, that recurring theme. Keep it level. And it works. If you're able to keep it level, that's fine. People, sometimes, I talked about the headache, people will need to rest. Sometimes they will have to go home. And I know lately, if I have a severe low, I'm kind of out of it for the next day. And I can remember the last days of working when I was working in a grocery store. If I had a severe low, I knew I would have to call in to the grocery store and say, Hey, I'm sorry, I can't come in today. But, you know, you have to take responsibility and do everything you can. Because if you're playing around with your insulin or whatever, come on. If you're doing it for attention, I'm sure there's many other ways you can get attention from your family, from your friends. Don't use this as an excuse all the time. You are better than this. You need to take control of your life before you end up in, as far as I am along. I'd like to say there's a cure for hypoglycemia and awareness. I haven't found it yet. I've talked to other people about it and they haven't found the cure for it yet. So you know what? We deal with the cards that we're dealt with. You don't want to be going out and saying, oh, well, that's it. I can't take this anymore. Do the best you can. That's all people are asking of you. Anyway, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye now.